Welcome to your workout. This is just going to be a simplified yoga workout today. Um, I teach, substitute teach, some yoga classes on Saturdays when uh, the other teacher can't make it and I do some in-person, definitely do some in-person Pilates. So I'm practicing my little gig that I do. Um, so anyway, we're going to start with some upper body stretches to warm up. You're just going to circle your chest and from the, your seated position, you're just rolling your body, getting warmed up, and then let's reverse it. Just relaxing, moving your body around. However you feel comfortable moving, then let's just take our neck and you can gently stretch it to the side, put your hand to the floor, you feel that extension, holding, coming up, and switch. All right, and then let's just do a mermaid stretch, side stretch. Get all the cracks out of your lower back. That's my back cracking, feels good. Gonna do the other side. And reaching, and then come into your child's pose. So for the child's pose, you can go wide knees or knees close together. Wide knees, you can press more of your upper body and chest to the floor. So first we're gonna start with straight down the middle and hold a couple of deep breaths. Then you're just gonna pull your body to the right. Again, for a side stretch. And hold and then walk it over to the other side. And stretch. And then carefully come back forward and just nestle your body in. You can shake your hips a little bit to the left and the right. Let's take our hands behind our back and come into this bunny or rabbit pose. Head to the floor, hands are up above. You're stretching your arms and then come down. Then lift back up and down and lift back up. Two more times, down and up and down again. And then release the hands and we're gonna come into some child's pose to cobra, slide forward, press down, push up and dropping your shoulders, push back and slide forward, stretching out the lower back, a couple more, slide back and push forward, reaching, 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 press your hands into the floor. Think about your glutes back there. Instead of clenching in your lower back, shift the uh, uh, the muscle movement to the lower the glutes. You can shake there if you want to feel it better. Push back. One more. And slide forward all the way into this little cobra, baby cobra, or sphinx pose. You can tap your legs out. And then we're gonna take our hands to the floor. So you're in this high elbow. You look like a, a spider position. And we're just gonna lift up in the chest and push down. So a wide armed push up. And that's two, three, four, five. 
And then let's take a shoulder to the floor for one, and two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then come up to all fours, shake your tailbone. We're in this cat-cow position. So you're just extending and flexing the spine, rolling up, roll up, and back, rolling up, and back. And one more. Good, and shake it out. Good to stretch out. Let's do some body circles. And reverse. Good, all right. And now we're gonna take a left foot forward and we're in a lunging position. So we're gonna slide back, straightening out the hips. So you're in this um, half split position and then push forward into your lunge, chest up and back deep into that hamstring. Chest up. And let's just do a couple more. You can use blocks to pick you up a little bit higher if you want. You don't have to go down too low to the knee or the leg. Let's just do two more, push up. Blocks are helpful, because again, you're lifted up here. And then stretch back. And one more, pushing up. and back and bring your left foot back and switch to your right foot and we are in this lunging position and you can stretch out your hips or your lower back if you want and come into this stretch again you can use your blocks if you have them handy push back into your half split deep into that hamstring Push forward and back. You can work with your back foot also. You can tuck the toes and lift them up and back. Let's do two more. And forward, get into that lunge and back. And forward. and back and then bring the knee back stretch it out again push up into downward facing dog let's walk out the dog so you're in this v-shaped position your legs are just walking back and forth you can push to one hip one foot or the other stretch out i'm trying to show side back view, back side view. <laughs> and you're gonna take one leg up and kick it. One, two, three, four, five. Take some hip circles. One, two, three, four, five. And reverse. One, two, three, four, Five. Now let's bring the knee to the chest times five. One and up. Two. Three. Up. Four. Up. And five. And just hold here. Holding. Stay strong. Lift back up. Roll your hip out. Hold the stretch and then flip your body all the way around. We've done these before, the flipped dog. And then come down to stretch for one, two, 
three, four, five, and reach. Then we're gonna flip back over and set that foot down and walk it out again. This is hard work. So now let's do the other leg. I'm gonna turn around so you see it from the other side. So left leg is lifting up and down for two, three, four, five. Then let's take the hip circles. One, two, three, four, five. Hold that knee, bring it to the chest. One, and up, two, up, three, four, and on the fifth one, hold it here, lifting up, push the knee up into your body, feeling that stretch in your spine, muscles and everything. Come back up and then roll that hip out, hold, hold your Stretch here for just a second. And then flip over. Flip to dog. And then let's go down and up for one, two, three, four, five. Push up and reach. and then flip back over and then come back down. Let's come into a plank position and then do your chaturanga. So you're bending your elbows, come down and push up into upward facing dog, back into downward facing dog. And then we're gonna step or hop to the front of the mat so come up and uh, turn face this way. So you can come to the front of your mat, but I'm gonna stand back here so I'm not out of the camera. So you're doing a forward fold. Forward fold. And then in your forward fold, bend the right knee and twist your upper body to the left and we're going to switch press the left hand down and lift the right hand up stretch it out and switch so you're bending the knee that goes with the hand that's on the floor and switch and switch and switch And then carefully, we're gonna roll the body back up. And let's come into some tree poses. Um, bring your leg up, either to maybe planted partially on the floor, or you can come to your calf muscle just below the knee, or bring it all the way up and get your balance. Hold here. Take a breath, and then we're gonna lean forward into a, well, if you have something to hold on to, you can do that or try to balance. Put your hands at, at prayer at your chest and make sure the hips are both looking down to the mat, not open. Holding, come back to a standing position. Now we're gonna take our leg and put it in a single leg lotus. So lotus is just, now your leg is crossed over instead of pressed onto the inside of the thigh, it's crossed over. So we're gonna do lotus pulses. One, two, three, four, five. Come down lower, use the hands to the floor if you need to for a good stretch. 
pigeon, sty pigeon style stretch. You can use something to hold on to or your blocks. Carefully slide that leg down and then we're going to come back up and do the other leg in tree. So low tree pose or all the way up to the inner thigh. Holding. Take some deep breaths. And then come into warrior three. Leaning your body forward, the back leg is straight back and align. You're not um, opening the hips. Balance and focus and bring that foot back, set it down, and then we'll regroup and bring it into the single leg lotus pose. Oh, get your balance. Then we'll do little pulses. One, two, three, four, and five. Oh, come down. And you can do some more if you need balance. I need balance right now. You need a little bit of balance. You can come into your pigeon stretch. And carefully slide that foot down. And we're going to step into our warrior poses. Let me just check. Oh, uh, well, we're 16 minutes in. Let's do a couple of warrior poses. So we'll start back, back, back here. So you can see you're in your warrior one. And then open up to warrior two. Come back. Warrior two. Warrior, warrior one. To warrior two. Twisting that back foot. Then let's go to peaceful and extended side angle. Peaceful warrior. Extended side angle. Peaceful warrior. And extended side angle. I think I'm doing four of each little exercise. Now we're going to turn our feet and face the other way. So warrior one. Feet are turned to the front and then open up to warrior two, Virabhadrasana two, open up, turn back, open up, turn back, and open up again, and then go into peaceful, extended side angle. The feet are staying the same here, it's just the body, the upper body is shifting. Peaceful, stretching the lower back, extended side angle, back to peaceful, and then back to extended. And, and there we go. Then turn your feet into your wide leg forward fold. Hands are going to come to the floor or to your blocks. And let's just do forearm taps for one, two, three, four, five. Walk your feet in to your Malasana squat. So you're coming low. You need to adjust your feet if possibly. Come low into your squat. Hold. And then let's do some crow hopping. So you're just lifting one, two, three, four, Five, shifting, you can balance, start balancing, lifting one at a time, and then get into your position to hold, lifting both feet up, come back down, knees together, let's come into a cosmic hug, balance on your tippy toes, it helps if you close your eyes, it knocks you off balance, but it's good. And that's going to be it for today's yoga session. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day. Great weekend. Bye.